I'm going to show you how to install the button repair kit in the Panasonic KXTGA650 telephone. It's also in the KXTGA520, it's the same, and also the 500 um, different colored phones. Um, so, you take the battery cover off, and uh, you've got to take these two screws out. You're going to need a flat screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, we want uh, cleaning chemical. I use isopropyl alcohol that won't damage circuit boards. Cleaning rag, and sometimes I use Q tips um, or even an old toothbrush. So you take those two screws out. Now, to get the back off, you don't want to just pull with force. Um, I'm going to, where we took the two screws out, I'm going to pull the housing apart a little bit, like that. And then I'm going to apply some pressure by sticking my fingers in the gap. And you take the flat screwdriver and you just slide it in the gap up as far as it'll go. And I can't get it to slide any further and then you just tweak it a little bit and it'll pop out that clip. There's a clip here and there's a clip up here. And uh, same thing on the other side and then a big one at the top. Now you might want to take the belt clip off. It might help you a little bit but once you get that one clip off, oh, I, you can twist it like that, and sometimes it'll clip. Some of the clips will fall off again. Um, otherwise, I'm going to just do the same thing and go up as far as I can and just tweak it a little bit. It's harder with that belt clip in place. I'm going to take the belt clip off just to show you. There we go. I can get it right up in there. There we go. And once I've done that, I'm just going to twist this like that, and it pops out. And that last one up there, you just kind of wiggle and push that way gently. But you want to be careful because you can pull this wire to the speaker right off if you if you pull too hard or push too hard. So it, just wiggle it and work its way off. Okay, so now you want to take this headset jack cover off because that's going to get lost. And we have one screw up here at the antenna. There. And that's the same as the two screws that we took apart before. And then we have the two charging pins down here, and they have smaller screws. So you want to make sure you use the smaller screws in the same place when you put it back together. So I'm going to keep those separate with the charging pins. And the charging pins are different. There's a left and a right side. But um, you just make sure when you're putting it back together, there's a, a pin. Let me get this focused. There's a pin that goes into a hole in the housing in the right in the front. That's the edge that the battery touches or the battery contacts. Um, and then there's two little pins that go through holes in the circuit board. So when you're putting it back, um, just start with uh, that pin edge on the bottom, and obviously it can't go over here, so you know it goes over here, and it fits right in like that. Anyway, now that we've gotten that apart, you just pick up again from down here where the battery contacts are, and just kind of lift it over like that. And then we've got this silver volume button. I'm just going to pop that out. Make sure it's not gunked up with dirt. If it is, you can clean that off. And I'm going to put it right back there. It's got a, a skinny spot at the top, so it can't go in upside down. And it looks like the plastic keycaps came off with this. Now, if there's any uh, spill, like an old spill in here, it might make the button sticky, like, like actually catch. Uh, so you might want to soak that. Um, clean it up with uh, rubbing alcohol in a toothbrush or just soak it in some hot water and soap and brush it off. Um, and also, if you do need to, you might need to go into the Q-tip and rubbing alcohol and get any sticky stuff out of here, if that's the case. This one's okay. The rubber keypad just comes right off. Now, the oils build up in here and jam up the buttons. There might be some dirt residue in there, um, and that's what causes the problem. The repair pad blocks the oil 
from this ever getting back onto the circuit board again. But uh, we need to clean it off. Uh, I just get a rag wet with isopropyl alcohol. I like to use 90%, 70% uh, is more common. 90% has less water in it. And you can get that at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. Just gonna clean this up a little bit. And the important part is the circuit board. You gotta get that nice and clean. These phones aren't usually too, too bad, but if there's a lot of, of uh, like kind of dried up, built up gunk in there, you can drip isopropyl right on it, kind of let it soak for a few seconds. Um, you just don't want to get isopropyl alcohol on the microphone. Um, a wet rag touching it by accident is not going to do anything, but if you dumped it on the microphone, it would definitely break it. And while I'm in here, I'm going to clean the LCD display. I'm get a different rag. That one's a little bit too dirty. Probably have fingerprints on there by now. Okay, so to install the keypad repair, you just peel off the paper backing and there's a notch for the microphone and there's four holes for the LEDs and then there's some cutouts for the top just to line up and get it nice and square like that and that's all you need to do. Now, I'm going to put the rubber keypad back in. Now, one thing that can happen when you're doing this is the rubber buttons can get kind of stuck underneath. Okay, flipping this back over, and there's a pin for a hole there. Now, I want to show you these buttons can actually kind of be jammed down at an angle or stuck partway underneath there. So you want to make sure that didn't happen. It looks good, so I'm gonna put the phone back together. One long screw up at the top where the antenna is, make sure the antenna is all the way down. And then put those pins back in. Remember, look for the pin that sticks down from the edge. And that goes in like that, like that. hand tighten them snug you don't want them over tightened okay now I'm gonna put the headset jack back headset jack cover and there's a little like T there and it fits in a slot just below the headset jack like that now to put the phone back together, I want to make sure that I don't pinch this wire in the housing, so I'm going to kind of just guide it right there. And then I start at the top, and the top doesn't snap in really, it just sort of gets pushed in. And at that point, you can just squish it together. And you can see that it's all, there's no gaps there. Oh, there's a little one there. Click. So it's all together. We got those last two screws. Now, just to let you know, these phones have flat battery contacts. Uh, when I do repairs, I upgrade these to springs because these flat contacts aren't very good. Um, basically, over time, they just kind of build up invisible dirt. Um, they might lose their springiness a little bit. The battery you get uh, might be a little bit different. Where's my battery? Here it is. You know, the, if, if this battery is just a tiny bit skinnier than the original battery or these contacts are bent or anything, these will have trouble um, resetting. The, you, you might bump it a little bit or just be talking and shake it, and then the phone will reset the LCD will go blank. Back on is a big problem, not for every phone, but fairly common. And very frustrating to troubleshoot because you swap batteries around it doesn't seem to make any difference um, it doesn't happen very often so it's only you know when you're an important call anyway I'm gonna put that 
belt clip back on. Got a battery in there, and you can see all the buttons are very responsive. And you're all set, and you shouldn't have trouble ever again because those oils are blocked from getting back into the keypad. Thanks for watching.